Welcome, Earth friends. From the minds of Dylan Altov and Rob Lupinow, we bring you Lying on a Prayer. Dylan. Yeah. I'm, I know that we don't really do serious stuff. Never. We, no, no, we don't really. Um, but I've got a serious question. This is real rubber hits the road type question. All right, I'll take my hands right. out of my pockets. Chicken wings or chicken nuggies? So bone or boneless? Y- either, yes. Hmm. Which, if like you know, real like no bullshit. Which, which is it? Which is it going to be? You can eat either one or the other. Well, much like an accused rapist, I'm going to have to ask for some context here. Uh... <laughs> what were the chicken nuggies wearing at the time? <laughs> what sort of sauce were the wings? In that? That's my question. Sauce, uh... dips, anything, any of that available? Because can I have... can eat because I can eat chicken wings plain, but I'm not sure I can eat some nuggets you, plain. Um, you can have a sauce of your choice. Okay. Uh, one sauce. One sauce. Of your, of, of, of your choice. One sauce of my choice. And that's for both the wings and the nuggets. Um, so one sauce to dip, one sauce to cover. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you don't have to pick one. Like, you could just, like, and have I can one have, covering. And I can have any amount of either. Any, any amount of either chicken so, wings or sauce. So one nugget equals one wing. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So you got 100 wings. Uh, well, the most I've ever eaten in one time is 45, but... That's brave. It was done. Uh, <laughs> carried you got my, to test your limits. Carried my belt in my hand that day. <laughs> <laughs> but only because I was in a knife fight in the bathroom. Anyway. Uh, over, <laughs> over 45 chicken wings. <laughs> I wonder if anyone got that reference. <laughs> I mean... I was going to say, I'm not going to say where we live, but where we live, having a knife fight in the bathroom isn't too far out of just daily life. No, I mean, like, with the belt around my arm. I was doing the Punisher. Oh, uh, ah. Uh, Maybe that might have nice. been a bit too obscure. Anyway. Mate, oh, I got to fucking tell you, there was, a, there was a fight outside our flat. I um, saw I saw your videos on social media. Mate, it was the funniest shit, right? So they're like, fucking... <laughs> This is, oh, we're going off on a tangent already, but I'm just going to quickly... I'm still considering it. my answer. Yeah, anyway. yeah, because <laughs> there were these two guys. And by, by the way, this was like half nine. Like, this, like it was still daylight. Uh, and these people were still like... PM. Yeah, yeah, PM. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, to be, yeah, to be fair, it could have been AM. <laughs> these two guys were like fighting. And, well, they, they weren't even really fighting. Like, they, they were just like dancing Kissing. around, saying... Like, oh, like those videos you see of people that I like dancing yeah, like, around and, on, and someone edits in music <laughs> so they're all jumping Yeah, the and they're going like, come on then, come on then. But like none of them were actually fighting. Anyway, Pussies. this fucking, there's like two blokes, there's two like other women that are like screaming at them. And <laughs> this point where this dude, right, uh, for whatever reason, the, the, they start circling this car. That's not their car. The the guy who owns the car comes out of his house, shouts at them to fuck off, and they sort of fuck off. And then the next thing, one of the dudes goes, uh, like, I'm gonna get my boys, I'm gonna get my boys. And then the other dude says, Make him come! And then he fucking grabs his crotch, he goes, Ah! <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating as to what that sounded like. Headphone that is listeners, I apologize. That is literally what it sounded like. He went, Make him come! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we used to know someone that made that that's, noise. Yeah, that's the sort of place that we live in. <laughs> All right. All right, you got your answer for the chicken wings or chicken nuggies? I'm going to go with chicken wings. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I'm not a massive fan of battered things. Uh, chicken, fish, women and all that sort yeah, of thing. It yeah. kind of puts me off my evening wank. So mm. I, I... Well, what about, the, what about the third one? Well, it depends who's holding the camera. I'm not saying that violence is arousing, but... Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need five minutes to uh, deal with. Uh, with I just feel like I'm getting more meat in the wing than the nugget, and I'm not talking about the oh chicken nuggets. I know they use actual breasts or butt cheeks or whatever. They I suppose where you get it from. Right? Yeah, I suppose McDonald's nuggets and all that. But then again, it might depend on the wi- uh, the chicken wings you get. If you get like the most Tesco value yeah. fucking chicken wings, those aren't going to yeah, be. Yeah, man, you can get seventy two chicken nuggets in a bag at Tesco for like. 
three pounds or something. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I've got them in my freezer. I be- <laughs> I've got them. I believe you. <laughs> but no, wings. I I love wings. I love. I guess it's because I'm a fucking savage and all that. But I just like I like eating shit off a bone and tearing apart wings, eating it like that sort like of thing. Spare ribs. And you've been to, and you've been to restaurants with me, sort of thing. I I tend to organise. Well, my... I've been to Weatherspoons with you. <laughs> I, de- I, de- I, I don't. Have we ever actually been to a restaurant? So what? Somewhere nice? To, yeah. No. No. We've only been to Weatherspoons. I swear that's the only time we've eaten food together. It's like at Weatherspoons, like out. I think it is. It must be. I guess the I guess the stable doesn't count. Oh yeah, but that's like <laughs> crisps and stuff. Well, what about that hot dog plan? Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, that was really good actually. So, <laughs> so we've eaten out. We've, we've we've eaten at two different places out, and neither of those places are restaurants. <laughs> Me and Rob are very cheap dates. So, uh, so yeah, and I organise my chicken bones in a particular fashion with my wings. I know you do. I've seen you do it. Yeah, Ray. Refer- Fuck. My partner refers to me as a psychopath for doing that. <laughs> I mean. To be fair, it is very neat arrangement. It's not just like a pile. No, of course it not. It looks like you've put like effort into it. It's more just mild order. I, I, I feel like it's more sort of not disturbing, but like watching you sort of meticulously do it. <laughs> like that's the sort of thing that makes it a bit weird. It's like you just go... Like, I do remember you saw like this went silent for a bit, just lighting up the book. That oh, this makes him sound like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it rubs the lotion on its skin, or it gets the hose again. Well, at least for every chicken bone I've lined up, is not a child bone. I've. Is imagine, it? <laughs> imagine that a serial killer that dismembers his. Uh victims strips us all their flesh and blood and organs and then puts their skeleton back together like a puzzle oh my god That'd we be... should have done that for our horror episode where we made the horror film ah stitch lips too the yeah, re- yeah. the reorganizing i mean t- oh yeah that's a great one no because that would no, that's work a shit because... subtitle no no it's great <laughs> because, because obviously you know the monster can't die has to come back and you know, we have our franchise. You need a bit more of an ambiguous name, like uh, Stitch Lips 2. No, what do we call it? We call it like Don't Speak or something like that. Don't... Stitch Lips? We call it Stitch Lips. No, I'm, I'm naming the name of the movie. Oh, did we? We call it like uh, Don't Speak or All right. Shut Up. Or... Well, the next one's going to be called Orphan Annihilator, where it takes place in an orphanage and he's hunting down a load of kids. <laughs> Orphan Annihilator. Yeah. I feel like that needs to be the name of Doom Guy's dick. <laughs> Orphan Annihilator. <laughs> no, that's like Demon Sodomizer or some shit like that. <laughs> demon Dick Down on the Demon. I don't know. I don't know. It depends how long it is. You know, you if you can get all that on there. Yeah, I imagine it probably is quite sweaty as well. Cause you'd like... have the yeah, you definitely need a strong sharpie. But I think you'd have the girth for you to be able to do a second line yeah, underneath uh, the first he's, one. He's got big dick energy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> can you imagine that though? <laughs> big dick energy. I try to. <laughs> I do like constantly, but like, can you imagine like Doom guy? Like, if there's a thing in like a Doom game where you can just like, <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you, but I am going to do some other stuff. <laughs> I think that would just be the transition from Doom into God of War. Yeah. <laughs> just butt-fucking a demon. <laughs> well, he, Kratos was Greek. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And to be honest, there's no Geneva Convention on Mars. Uh, yeah, exactly. There's no convention <laughs> anywhere. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Galaxy far, far away, like in the Clone Wars. They can use flamethrowers because that was space Vietnam. Yeah. His mouth said no, but his ass can't talk. Like, you know what I mean? You could only see, holy shit, now I want to see Doom Guy rape Stitch Lips. I want to see that fight. It'll be like Freddy versus Jason, except way stupider. And quite probably worse. I liked Freddy versus Jason. Obviously, Robert England as Freddy is always a delight. Robert England's in the new Stranger Things uh, season. Holy actually, shit, he's like... still acting. He's got to be old. Oh, uh, he is. <laughs> he probably he looks, is. by now, he probably looks like the bad guy from Pottergeist 2. He, he's, uh, he's old. And funnily enough, have <laughs> but... you seen Pottergeist 2? 
Oh, yeah. The villain is like a ghost a uh, former cult leader. He looks really scary. And the interesting fact about that, the reason he looks as harrowing as he does is because the actor was actually dying of stomach cancer while filming that movie. So he looked like extra skeletal oh, and really? horrifying naturally because he was, you Damn. know. And then Christian Bale does like the machinist where he like starves himself, like eats like one pee a day or some shit like that. I don't really have the same respect as someone who was fighting cancer and still yeah. films a movie. Like Maggie Smith in Harry Potter, she was fighting cancer during those films. Holy shit, seriously? Yeah, some of them, yeah. Order of the Phoenix, I think. And she beat it? Yeah. Oh, good for her. Yeah, it's pretty fucking sick. Do you know what? I was, I, was, I was watching this thing the other day and like, cause I like watching like video essays and stuff sometimes. What do you mean? To... Sorry, video essay. So it's like, like someone like analyze a film and, and stuff like that. Oh, analysis. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Um, but you know, it's like on YouTube, so it's like instead of writing it, it's like videoing and stuff like that. What, like a vlog? Uh, no, like they sort of make their points and then they use like footage from the film they're analyzing. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it is analysis. Like, like you have a film, someone analyzes a film, kind of thing. Um, so, sort of like the, what the nostalgia critic does. Yeah, except not as cringe and actually about <laughs> and actually about filmmaking rather than like terrible sketches and stuff. Um, I really agree with that. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do you think the Doug Walker? Fans... If you've been a long time fan of Laughing on a Prayer, I hope you've been a good sport. Yeah, because um, also for loves someone you... for someone that critiques comedy, you do a lot of screaming for your jokes. <laughs> anyway, well, he uh, is an internet comedian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Remember the goat meme? What the fuck does that make us? <laughs> Less than him, to be fair. <laughs> it's like, like Doug Walker was saying your shit, but uh, people know who you are for, for a reason, I think. I don't know. Given we post these on YouTube, do we have to, like, in a, in, in a dick measuring contest, do we have to just manage our, you know, measure our subscriber count against this? <laughs> to be fair, though, he's got a whole team. We're just two dumb fucks with a phone's recorder. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a team. A team of two. <laughs> To be fair, I'm suddenly I, sad. I won't lie though. Every now and then, like I watch a little bit of Kick Assia just to kind of see how shit it is. Oh, but the, oh the old movie. Yeah, ones. and it kind of warms my heart a little bit because like we've made some crap films, but I'm like, it makes me feel a bit better. I guess sometimes there's something about seeing actors enjoying themselves that even though it's something you're watching is terrible, if you know everyone's having fun, like for example, like again, I know you hate Seth Rogen, like this is the end, but you can sort of tell like a lot of the actors are having fun, laughing off each other and shit like that. Yeah. Or... Um, I, I think that's, I mean, the, the reason why I kind of like Kate Hassier is because it is just like a group of mates having fun. That would be Whereas, the sort like, of movie we Seth make. Seth Rogen is... Definitely trying to make films, but the thing is, he's like in his forties and he's still like <coughs> weed funny. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, Who do you think? Which actor do you think is more annoying about weed, Seth Rogen or Woody Harrelson? Oh, Seth Rogen, hundred percent. Seth Rogen. Yeah, but Woody Harrelson is like preachy about it. Seth Rogen unsuccessfully tries to make it funny. Woody Harrelson is like what is like Brian from Family Guy. He's like, oh, yeah. it's all it's all actual, just good for you, man. <laughs> It's like if Shaggy had, had made a baby with a Starbucks hipster. I, I feel like it's because I like Woody Harrelson in more films than Seth Rogen films. That's true. Have you ever uh, seen? He's very good in True Detective, to be honest. They, uh, right off, that. right off, playing off against. Uh, oh fuck, what's his name? Fucking. Is it Matthew McConaughey? That's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 Matthew. I was about to do War <laughs> Bullshit to remind myself. But it's yeah, same guy. But like, but like Zombieland, like Woody Harrelson's like. He's good, he's like as good as Zombie Land, uh, whereas like Seth Rogen, I don't know. It's just like his it's like his comedic personality is weed funny. Do you know he was the alien at the end of Invincible, the one with the big eye that uh, Invincible fights? Was he actually? Yeah, that's the voice of him. Would uh, that? Sorry, oh, not Woody Harrelson, shit. Seth Rogen. No, Seth Rogen was yeah. No, yeah, was. Seth yeah, Rogen. where he meets him like on the moon. Yeah, and they have to. And he had to yeah. I, I love the idea that he just and has to hold his. Breath. I also like. I really like Paul, but the thing is, it's like and Seth Rogen voices Paul. But it's like, Paul is not the funniest character in Paul. It is Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, and even uh, Kristen uh Well, yeah, that's Stewart, because I Paul... I don't think Paul's meant to be the funniest. I think he's just more of a plot device. Yeah, no, he literally is the whole reason why the plot exists. Yeah. Um, and even then, even when he's playing an alien, he, like, smokes weed. And it's like, oh, yeah, I, I smoke weed. Funny. It's like, mate, like... 
Where, I mean, I get it. Like, Superbad. Like, how old were you when you watched Superbad? Like, I haven't seen it. Have you not? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, well, when you're, like, a teenager and, like, you watch, like, Superbad, American Pie. Okay. Yeah. You know, that, that sort of thing. You're like, oh, yeah, it's really funny. It's, like, because you're 16. I, must have, I can't come, remember the only like, person that only just skipped to the nudity scenes. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, you did. Well, at least you pause it. <laughs> uh, pausing, you fucking sport kids today. Try accurately pausing on a VHS. And you, you DVDs and your streaming pause, mm. which you can go frame by frame. We didn't fucking have that on VHS. You press pause, there was a half second delay, and then you got what you got. <laughs> and rewinding it hurt the videotape, so you yeah. just had to settle. And also, do you know what? Like, like as this episode gets older, we're gonna feel like such boomers. We're gonna be like DVDs. Oh my god, those fucking cavemen! Like, <laughs> I don't know. The only problem we ever had with DVDs uh, was just the disc getting scratched. Yeah. Which is a lot easier, that I think, years ago than it is to now. But maybe that's because we trained ourselves not to scratch discs. Yeah. No, I still put my like little finger through the hole. Giggity. <laughs> Uh, and if you're not using it, you, you face it the uh, flat side up. Oh yeah, yeah, no, hundred <laughs> percent. Then you, you, like, like if someone did that, you'd be like, "Are you mentally deranged?" <laughs> because there's nothing more in, uh, annoying than when you're on your knees blowing the disc in your oh, hand. Yeah, 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 you've got it cupped. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly, and you're desperately trying to rub it as well to make it, you know. Cheap. And then you put it back in, and you get a denied sign, so you have to pull it back out and start all over again. Yeah, yeah. And then, then there's really dealing with work. DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't know which is more annoying, to be fair. So yeah, in total, I would say chicken wings are good. Yeah, chicken wings are pretty good. I do like chicken wings. I like nuggets though because um, they're generally kind of smaller. And, like, you can just sort of dip them in the sauce and just pop them in all at once. Whereas, like, you have to nibble away at a chicken wing. Like, you've got to get give it, like, a little bit more service, and I'm really lazy. <laughs> yes, I'm that lazy. I, I'm Does that lazy. Does it not lazy. feel, like, at least more like an adult meal? Like, I could, you could sit down to a plate of uh, chicken wings less guiltily than you would, like, a plate of chicken nuggets. Yeah. Like, you're, I mean, like, I you're do, fucking I, eight I, years old. I do have the palate of a child, though, basically, so... I have the sweet tooth for one, so I can't and, judge too and much. And I'm... Oh, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm confident in myself as a man to eat chicken nuggets. And if someone laughs at me, I'll just like look them in the eye and be like... You yeah. know what? Yeah, Do that's you know a... who's enjoying nuggets? Me. Do you know who's enjoying whatever... Or not, like, judging me for eating nuggets? That's right. I'll order off the child's menu. I'll fucking do it, mate. To be honest, I've... Uh, in, my, in my restaurant that I work at, sometimes I get women that come in with their uh, male partners and they order a kid's meal, to be honest, and I'm like, they get their box and they're happy as peaches. Yeah, exactly. Do, do you, get little, you get a good little... You get a good little summation. I've done though. that. I, I've been to, like, a, a sort of pub and the adult menu was, like, not very good. It just didn't look very good. And then I just saw, I was, and then I saw the kids' menu, and it was like sausages, chips, and beans. I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude! I'm getting that." And I'm a 25 year old man. It does seem like an. That was a couple of years ago, but <laughs> it does seem like a real beta male move to judge someone's masculinity over the name of the food that they wanted to eat. Not the food itself, but like just the, oh, you ordered a kid's meal? You're not a man. That's how you you're define not, fucking like, masculinity, like, you're you not, sad fuck. Yeah, it's like, hey, look, I'm putting this food in my mouth, all right, to take away the taste of your mum's cunt. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> God, do you remember when McDonald's used to give out good toys in the kids' meals? Like, nowadays, it's the kind of shit you get in, like, a Kinder Surprise. It's absolute... They, it's Kinder absolute... stop doing that? I think Kinder stopped putting toys in their eggs to, like... Or was that... I swear that happened. I don't know. I think that Kinder myself. stopped putting, like, toys in their eggs. Wait, then what's the fucking surprise anymore? Well, yeah, that's the thing. They're like, oh, we encourage childhood obesity. It's like, well, why don't you just... Why don't parents just not buy them it, then? I don't fucking know. Do they even have toys in McDonald's anymore? I thought they stopped that. Well, the kids' meals, no, they still do. They still do toys, but they're really oh, shit. Yeah. I remember back. I've in never the... worked at McDonald's, but uh... I remember back in the day, you get really good toys. You remember Beanie Babies? You get a whole fucking Did little you? plushie with your kids' meal. Damn, I remember that. Some good shit. Well, also, why did McDonald's used to be like red, blue, and yellow, and all that shit, and now it looks now it's all grey. It's all yeah. grey and sad. Why did just... McDonald's grow up with us? 
<laughs> I swear that was like a thing though. It's because they wanted to be like red and yellow to like attract. It's like bright colours. Also, I think there, there's like a science thing. The colour yellow makes you more hungry yeah. or something like that. Yeah, something like that. I heard a thing. I don't know if this is true, but apparently the M is supposed to look like tits. And like. I was told this. Yeah, and the Starbucks symbol is a woman holding her legs up. Yeah, What's your I, point? I was. Well, I was told this. <laughs> My point is that I was told this in media studies when I was at college, and it's like it looks like tits. I was like, those are some weird looking yellow tits. Also, like tits doesn't make me hungry. Well, it does, but like not for food. <laughs> <Hasn't> <laughs> you know? made, tits haven't made you hungry since you were about an infant. But yeah, I was never breastfed. I was a formula child. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> which probably explains a lot. Well, to be honest, the the heart symbol is meant to be an ass. You put it upside down and it's literally meant to be like buttocks. The heart symbol? Yeah, you know, like the Valentine's Day heart symbol is meant to be an ass. It's a rear end. I feel like they should just make it that instead of trying to deceive people. Well, most people in terms of emojis use the peach symbol, don't they? That peach, yeah, because they don't have a... Peach and eggplant. Um, yeah, I don't like, know bro, why. Like, it, like if your dick is purple with a green tip, you fucking you've got problems. Either that or you're the Grinch. Yeah. He's green. I bet his cock's purple. Uh, is this? Uh, I'm assuming you've got science about that. <laughs> I do have sources. You are a meticulous uh, researcher. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, peer reviewed. <laughs> <laughs> Looks oddly like a vegetable. Strongly agree. <laughs> well, I say peer reviewed. I, you know, I scroll through the comment section. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's, that's you got you got to see what the general vibe is. Although I definitely don't wouldn't consider those people my peers. <laughs> I mean, any sort of comment section, really. No one's your peer, are, are they? Not even in our comment section. <laughs> Um, Actually, jokes aside, all of you in the comment section, you're all right. Yeah, and the fact that you guys take the time to comment on our videos means that uh, I think you need to seek help. I, I don't know. I don't know why you would waste your time doing such a thing. <laughs> right, Rob. I got a question for you now. Fuck me. Uh, okay, then I got a question for you. Uh, it's all right. I'll I'll pick it up. All right then. Well, I can't be asked to edit that out. Right then, I've got a question for you. Sorry, Rob. he just dropped a live grenade somewhere and I don't know if it's going to go off. Hey, what's this new ring I've got? Anyway, would <laughs> you know. rather... But the fact that it doesn't turn you invisible means that either you're incredibly powerful or it's not the ring of power. <laughs> would you rather eat ten babies mm -hmm. or be eaten by a giant baby? Eat ten babies... Or be eaten by a giant baby. And the and the ten babies you got to eat, they're alive. You've got to do all the I've work. got to eat them live? Can I kill them and then cook? You can kill them if you want to take the Can time, I kill, cook and eat them? Can I butcher them? If you want, but again, you're gonna to have to do it all. Okay. Well I Or just resign yourself to death and be eaten by a giant baby. Damn, that's true. And this is a big baby. I'm talking like maybe And like... is he gonna kill and eat me or is he just gonna eat me live? He's gonna eat you like attack on Titan, like to pick you up. Oh, ah, nom, 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 nom. Okay. So Could be quick. Oh this Oh, this is difficult because like the sweet release of death is very tempting. I will not lie to you. Take me, sweet death. Yeah, exactly. Baby, take the wheel. No. That doesn't work. But at the same time, I do know how to skin. Jesus is my co-pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, help me pull this plane up. <laughs> All the passengers. <laughs> I wouldn't even do that. I'd be like, Jesus, pull this plane up. I command you. Like pass uh, the pilots are explaining. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm unfortunate to say that Jesus has taken the <laughs> reins of this plane. <laughs> Jesus has taken the wheel. <laughs> Due to unfortunate Islamic fundamentalism, this plane has been rerouted to paradise. <laughs> 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 Shit, am I going to be okay with that? Um, oh, it happened two thousand one. Like, uh, like, uh, he's going to perform an amazing stunt where he's going to fly us between the twin towers and. Uh, don't have any other words for that. Do, I, do British pilots do the uh, thing as well? I feel like that's a joke in America, but I haven't been oh, on a plane in a long no. time. I mean, the last time I was on a plane, they didn't. But the last time I was on a plane, it was a Scottish pilot. And weirdly enough, I felt 
very safe. Yeah, I'd imagine a Scottish pilot would be, despite drunk, would still be ju- even yeah. more competent than an English guy. But like hearing like a Scottish pilot over the intercom sound like we'll be landed in 50 minutes, it's just, I felt like safer. Whereas if it was a British pilot, I was like, yeah, like we will be learning. It's like, no, no, I want someone with authority, like someone, that, like, <laughs> do you know? What I mean, because Scots have authority. No, I can agree with that. Like, the oh, English voice, fucking English. Like, English part is too timid. So, we're going to land in fifty minutes. It's like, are we? Because it sounds like, you know, you're going to say sorry after we crash. No, that's Canadian pilots. <laughs> so, the English was like, um, um, if it's okay with everybody, uh, we'll be landing the plane very soon. You know. Oh, it's like that joke. What's uh, Canada's national sport? What? It's hockey. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought this was a joke. Yeah, but this is not a funny podcast. This is serious. <laughs> Wait, am I being retarded right now? Did you tell a joke? No. Oh, okay. It was an anti-joke, which is also a joke in itself. Sorry. Sorry. I went ice skating the other day. It was actually kind of fun. I went ice skating. It really hurt my legs. Me Maybe because I'm not fit at all. <laughs> me and my partner wanted to do it. Went to a place up in Bristol. Again, we would have invited you, but after finding out last time you hate driving in Bristol, we thought we'd spare you that one. I also hate ice skating. <laughs> I didn't know that before, but yeah, we went ice skating. Do you, do you like bowling? Should I love go? bowling. We should all go bowling I'm not sometime. Good. I'm not good at it, though. My partner's really good. I, I got know. one strike when we played. She got, like, fucking six. I've got, like, one strike, I think, once in my life, and that's only... I think it's, that's true because it's the one that I remember. <laughs> your partner any good at bowling? I have no idea. I've never been. You've never been bowling with your partner? No. How long have you two been together? Not long enough to go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> You're now moving on to your only, second o- place o- together. O- but only, <laughs> yeah, only moving into a house after like five, going on six years. Yeah, no, but... That's reminded me of a section from a Weird Al Yankovic song about the Albuquerque song. He's talking about how he's married a woman who's like, we got married, moved in together, and we had 12 kids. And then one morning, my wife looked over to me and she said, sweetie, do you want to open a Colombian records account together? I was like, whoa, baby, I'm just not ready for that kind of commitment. So I left that morning and that's just the way life goes. <laughs> I, I've seen uh, Daniel Radcliffe is playing Weird Al Yankovic in this new film oh, coming out. Oh, yeah, just the look of him with that fucking yeah. stash and all I that. I fucking love how he's, like, he could have basically just, like, I love how he's just doing weird films. Like oh yeah, Guns Akimbo was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, Guns Akimbo is a fucking he sick tried, film. I think he's learned. He tried to... What was the first thing he did? Woman in Black. He tried to be legitimate. Uh, I think he's learned that we don't start yeah. off trying to be serious. Have some yeah. fun and then be serious. I mean, he did, uh, although I think that he... Because like, Woman in Black is like... It's just a great sort of haunted house film, isn't it? So like, he just wanted to do that. And then... And also, like, like, Woman in Black as a play has got yeah. like, lots of... Uh, you know, it's got lots of sort of kind of like history especially in theatre I haven't seen the theatre production myself. oh you have though you need to we should go sometime I don't it's know how, so how to convey horror through a stage oh show. they do it so well I yeah. won't spoil it for you but if anyone's seen The Woman in Black listening you know what I'm talking about they do it really well buy us tickets <laughs> yeah so. yeah buy <laughs> give us money please <laughs> Uh, Patreon. Like, yeah, could you imagine us with a fucking Patreon? We'd have to like interact with our Patreon people and all that sort of shit. Yeah, we would. And and also, it's like, what are you gonna spend your money on? Uh, probably booze to fuel the podcast. Mm. I don't, like, I don't. Other uh, podcasters that listen to us, and I've seen in the comment sections, other podcasts listen to us. If you, those of you, those of you that want to collaborate with us, why? We will ruin. We will half your listener count after the first five minutes. Also, I remember, like I, I've listened, like just like out of curiosity, sometimes like, like to like some of those podcasts. I'm like, my God, those people are like legit, and we're just two fucking idiots. Like, <laughs> Maybe it's like that sort of thing, like when Good Morning Britain just brings yeah. on like an insane racist just to just to parade them and like and you know so everyone can look look at the, look at the insane racist. That, that's us. We're insane racist. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I get a bit of imposter syndrome. That's McCarthyism at its finest. There, I'm quite proud of myself. Smells like Ruski propaganda. <laughs> I get, I get like imposter syndrome sometimes. I was like, how are these people like actually actively subscribing to us and like commenting and liking? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm I feel like I'm committing fraud somehow. I think it's eighty percent of our accents, apparently. Yeah. 
Which, yeah. when you live in a country where everyone has that accent, even the ones that don't even, sh- even the ones that struggle to speak their own language, it doesn't really come across as that. Yeah. Although I've met like people that are not from England that speak better English than English people. Yeah, but that's not much of a milestone these days. Yeah, I know. For it's, English it's people, the people that speak good. English better, fair enough. Yeah, I know. I've, I've met like German people <laughs> that have spoken better English than English people. And then there are Americans that f- say, hey, why don't you speak American? It's like, well, we gave you the language. <laughs> why don't you spell it right? Right, first thing we're going to do, this le- this weird sort of half circle letter. That's getting right out the window. <laughs> Goodbye, uh. <laughs> so... <laughs> Why do you hate the letter U, or Yanks? Yeah, exactly. It's like a third of your acronym. Do you know how hard it is to write a book and every time I spell a word correctly, you I get that little red squiggle? Oh, oh, that's not how you spell colour. Yeah, it's exactly. like a five-letter word. I know how to spell colour. Yeah, exactly. No, fuck. I won't spell colour. Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck you, Wordle. I ne- I nearly I nearly I, I nearly lost the wordle because they spelt colour wrong. <laughs> oh me and my partner have been playing wordle together. Oh mate, I've got to tell you, I got I last night I got wordle on the first go. I don't believe you. Did you screenshot it? Yeah, no, I've got it. I've okay. got it. I've got it, mate. Hang on. This was it. not planned, everybody. <laughs> I don't need to tell you that we don't plan these yeah, out. Yeah, no, we don't plan. Bosh! Holy sh- what the fuck made you think of that one first? I, literally, I was just like, oh, fuck it. Me and my partner, our first word is usually one that has as many like uh, vowels as possible, like naive or cough, sort of that oh, yeah. sort of thing. I use house sometimes, but I like to switch them up. I just like to put random words. Oh, and this sure. time, I was just like, oh, I'll put I'll put that one in. And, and, and I fucking got it. Literally, I got an erection. I got an erection. I saw it all turn green. I was like, yes! You want to know what word defeated my partner? What? We what thought, we, we guessed as best we could, we thought of it, and it beat us. Droit. Droit. D-R-O-I-T. That's a word. Droit. Droit. That's a fucking... <laughs> I will be fuming till the day I die. I'll be on my fucking deathbed, and my partner will have my fucking hand in hers, and I'll be like, fucking droit. What does... <laughs> I'm going to ask, what does droit mean? No, but that's the noise a robot gives when having an orgasm. Oh, okay. So apparently it means a right or due. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck off. No one knows that word. Droit. Let us oh, know I the... have. I, oh, it's a stor- noun, historical law. A right or due. Someone's going to put. Oh, the... I have a droit to. There's going to be someone being like, oh my god, how did you not know that? Plebeians. Someone in the comments and then they're just going to leave a link that'll be like an image of them wearing a t-shirt saying I love droit. <laughs> I love droit. <laughs> Put that in the comments if you got this far. I love droit. <laughs> oh yeah, let's fill up what this we is, These are not the droits you're looking for. Hey! Yeah, put that. If you're listening this far, um, if you are, I don't know why, but... Hi George. Put, uh, yeah, hi George. <laughs> <laughs> put in the comments, these are not the droits you're looking for. To be fair, that would piss me off too. That would piss me off too. I was fucked off beyond belief. So yeah, where do we stand on the baby question? Um, so the thing is, I feel like the sweet relief of death is very tempting. However, I would have to kill Cook and eat these babies, right? Yes. I can... I, I, yeah, no, I, I, could, I could butcher some babies. Ten? Yeah, I could do ten. I could do ten. Do but you think you is, can eat them all? Do I have to eat them all? Or can I, like, give them to my friends? Because uh, like, I'd give you a baby. I'd donate you a baby. Uh, well, I do like some baby back ribs. But... Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I, I, I'd donate you a baby. I want some baby back, baby back, baby back. Baby. <laughs> Chili! Oh, baby, baby. baby. <laughs> no, send them to Justin Bieber. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Bieber, Bieber. Um... I oh, come on, oh, do I do do I do Things I are to... quite small. You could eat. It depends how big it is. Like like is it fresh out the womb or is it like, um, like how old is this baby? I'll give it nine months. They're all nine months. You from conception or after? Birth? After being born, nine months old. Yeah, so they are kind of small. I, I donate you a baby. Uh, I think. 
Um, All right, if you can get past them... I, I'd eat ten babies. I'd eat ten babies. You're going to eat the ten babies. You're going to avoid death and eat oh, ten babies. Oh, yeah, I know, death is... Oh, damn, that is a fucking tricky one. Well, it's no nuggets, but yeah, I did my best. No, uh, okay, I'm going to flip a coin. Oh, well, we're getting the coin out. Oh, yeah, we're getting the coin out. Where's your Whoa. D20? Let's have some real fun with this. Yeah, a full ten... A full 2p. Okay. Imagine right. you roll like a D20, it becomes a 20, and you yeah. eat the giant baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um... Tails, I kill ten babies. Heads, I go inside a giant baby's head. Quick disclaimer, this is all a... <laughs> this is all just a theor theoretical question, and Rob is in no yeah. way intending to murder any infants. I mean, where would you get a giant baby, though, to murder me? Holland? Yeah. The Netherlands. You know. How old is that baby, though? I don't know that old. Because I feel if it's like Attack on Titan size, then it'd be like... Huge. They grow them big over there. Look at, well, look at uh, Chris Hemsworth. Is he from Holland? But he looks it. <laughs> no, I he's think he's Australian. Blonde. Yeah, no, definitely not from Holland. All right, so heads, I go in the baby's head. Tails, I'm eating ten babies. And three, two, one. Might have, better, Tails. might have been better for the podcast that audibly wise if you'd let it land on the table. Ow! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really hurt me, I just thought you'd all enjoy that. No, no, I just threw it directly at his head and his skull's really hard, so it made that noise. My skull's Good. really hard. That's the best compliment I've ever <laughs> my been given. Really hard. Oh, Dylan, the it Jedi on my fucking tombstone. Dylan, he had a hard <laughs> skull. skull. Skull, what is it? What's, it is what's the the front of the human head is really, really hard. That's why, like, punching someone in the front of the head actually it very rarely knocks them out. You can damage the orbital bone quite easily, yeah, can. to be honest. But, like, most, like, knockouts, apparently, come from, like, someone swinging around and accidentally, or, or like, hitting people, like, in the back of the head. Oh, yeah, back Rather, of the head. Like, if you actually punch someone, like, in the frontal temple... But it's like, it, yeah, it'll hurt, but it won't knock you out unless it's like... Yeah, human, know, humans have a lot in common with the fat, uh, dying potato aliens from Doctor Who. We can't turn our back the in Sontarans. battle. Sontarans. I love that you knew exactly what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you not? <laughs> the fat, dying, melting potato aliens. <laughs> I mean, is there any other alien like that? I don't know, the Peter K one? <laughs> the Absorbaloth. Fuck. <laughs> is what it's pronounced as. <laughs> Are you going to watch the next season of that? I don't know if I can be asked. Mm, uh, I think I will. I missed Whittaker. You watched Whittaker, though. Yeah, Whittaker wasn't good. I, I think I will watch it because the the guy that they've got, and I've forgotten his name, but he's sort of got a comedy background, and I think he's going to be funny, and I, I, I hope he's going to be funny because, like, uh, and I think he like actually could be funny, and Russell T. Davies, is, uh, he's writing for it, so it's going to be good writing, and... Uh, here's the thing, it's like, Whittaker's Doctor just wasn't really funny, and when she tried to be funny, it, or whenever the writing from Chin Balls tried to be funny, it was just pure cringe. <laughs> Whereas I reckon, like, T Davies and this new guy, oh, he's in Umbrella Academy, no, Sex Education, and um, uh, Horrible History, so I reckon he could be pretty funny. And I'm looking forward to it, and I'm going to watch it, because even if it's shit, I need to watch it to be able to chat shit about it. Fair enough. You know, you can't. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, I haven't watched this thing, but I think it's crap. It's like, well, how do you know? Oh, uh, because the internet said it was crap. It's like, Although, yes, to be because fair, people on the internet are never wrong. To be fair, though, the only reason me and my partner were set up to go and watch Morbius, and we didn't because we saw it was getting bot review bombed, and we thought we get to see like a movie at the cinema like once a month. At, if if we're lucky, we're yeah. not going to waste that on a movie that's and, and that's like shit you got to pay for. Yeah, exactly. So. Even it though is... I want to formulate my own opinion, if something is looking to be universally shit, yeah. I kind of hedge my bets. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, not, like, I mean, oh, I don't know. But, it, you know, it's, it's like, you know, Simpsons movie. You know, he's like, I can't believe we're paying to watch something we got on TV for free. And it's like, yeah, no. Do I, the thing is, that I don't actually just care about sort of Morbius enough to want to chat crap about it, because I... Never heard about Morbius until, like, the film. And also it's got Matt Smith, who is a doctor, who was a doctor, I guess. And it's got Jared Leto, yes. Um, I knew Morbius yeah. from the old animated Spider-Man TV show, but that was it. D yeah, I, I didn't even know from that. Quick, quick thing. Do Americans have their own version of a TV license? 
Because uh, for those of you who don't know, us over here in jolly old England, we have to pay to have a television and watch TV show then uh, TV programs with a TV license. Probably pretty much like forty quid they, a year I or something like that. I think they're thinking about banning or getting rid of those. Though. I thought they were going to get rid of them for like pensioners or something like that, but. <laughs> Like with people who are retired and yeah, be maybe, like, you I no longer know. need to pay for a fucking TV license or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you... I don't know if Americans have it because, well, basically, if you don't have, basic... oh, you, they don't they pay for like cable or stuff like instead of like having to pay for something that's like sort of funded. It's like you pay for it. It's it's like a sale essentially. I think you can watch like some t- TV programs even if you don't have cable. Like the basic cable lets you watch like watch like network television. And there are premium versions of that, of course, and obviously with streaming and services and that these days. But... Oh, yeah. Oh, mate, this is some fucking bullshit. Yeah. Stream- On the UK law, you and anyone living at your address must be covered by a TV licence. Yeah, me- no taxation without representation! Sorry, that's my America coming through. Thing is, me and my partner, we don't watch TV. We just yeah, do we streaming services. TV. Yes, yes, same. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, even stuff that is on TV... Oh, well, you know, I guess BBC iPlayer. Like, I watch Peaky Blinders on BBC iPlayer, like, the new season. That's fair. Um, that's, that's, but still, though, it's like, if you don't watch TV, like, like you know, like, actual TV programmes, it, it's like, I don't think you should have to pay. That's some bullshit. Yeah. No taxation. No, that's... They don't uh, need it. Yeah, they don't. Oh, oh, they're getting cut. The BBC have got, like, a massive budget cut. CBBC is getting, like, cut. Shit. Because it's like... Oh, it'll always be Nick Jr. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Oh, I don't know. I was born in America, so, you know, obviously I've got the blood. <laughs> about, <laughs> about not... About hating the fucking British government. <laughs> Pick a lay, Rob. Are you Scottish or American? I can be both. <laughs> That's your right as an American. That's my goddamn right, boy. I'm so proud of my American edges. I'm using my freedom to not be American. I mean, I I, I love guns and whiskey. What can I say? <laughs> How have the Scottish and Americans never united? Yeah, uh, you know William of Orange and stuff like that. Like the Europeans do kind of hate the English. And then you know, through like the Jacobite rebellions, like I think they do. And then there's the Commonwealth, and pretty much the really. Because of the English Empire, uh, the Brit- English because of the British Empire and all that, it's like the whole world sort of bears a grudge against us. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like if you, it, it's like never call like a Scotsman, an Irishman, or Welsh from English. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't, I mean, you can, but um, may God be with you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so you, so they're getting fucking TV licenses and all that. I think it's. It's absolute bullshit, and I think because the way we're definitely moving towards streaming as pretty much being the default. Yeah. Like, my TV remote at home, when we bought our new TV, came with a fucking Netflix Netflix button on it. Yeah. And that blew my mind when I first saw that. I was like, holy shit, this makes it seem really legit. Yeah, I was was at home, and, and, uh, you know, I remember... uh, Parents got, like, a new TV, and and their TV remote had a Netflix button on it. It does not seem like the oddest thing. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, but, it, like, in the future, I reckon it's going to be... I, I reckon in the future, I would wager that there will potentially be TV remotes like a Disney Plus button. Disney and Plus? Maybe like, Amazon Prime? Yeah, is that Amazon that? Prime, for sure. Yeah, yeah. There's a plenty of American ones, like HBO Go. And yeah, HBO. Like I mean, like. HBO, in its heyday, was Game of Thrones, wasn't it? That's... Um, although, then Chernobyl after. Although, ironically, that was their most pirated show. Yeah, no, fuck it was. Everybody stole that. Yeah, no, you... if, if you said that you, if you said that you've never pirated an episode from Game of Thrones, you're a fucking liar. And if you are one of the four people that yeah. did pay for it, yeah. you also, fucking the, loser. Yeah. Also, by the way, we did it because we were students and didn't have fucking money. So, you know, <laughs> I think they call that the Aladdin defense. <laughs> yeah, and Aladdin is like the hero of that story from his perspective. <laughs> I think I mean, that's from, what I think, everyone thinks, though, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I think from the guards of Agrabah, this thief managed to lie his way into the royal palace and completely fuck about their entire political infrastructure. Yeah, you got to rise up against the government, man. He was a boog boy. You got to rise up against the government. You know what would have been funny? Chaotic. What was he? If when Aladdin said, "I wish to be a prince," Genie had snapped his fingers, and it turned out to be the he just turned out to be the Sultan's bastard that the Sultan legitimised. 
It's like, I'm a pretty, you're a prince, but now I can't bang my sister. I mean, I mean that is, I mean, <laughs> clearly he hasn't seen Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would almost be something kind of funny. Imagine Aladdin by the writers of Game of Thrones. I mean, that's basically like Astapor and Young Kai and shit like that. So, you know, every scene with Jafar scheming, he's banging some prostitute and Iago flies in to be like, Oh my God, I can see a whole asshole! (laughs) Something like that. I mean, Jafar's basically what? what, Who is he? He's basically like he's Hasdir or Zara and Zon Daxos, I guess. I'd say he's more Littlefinger. Is it? No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, a scheming little wormy political dick. Jafar? Yeah. Because, oh, you know, he hypnotises the Sultan and all that. He's definitely not confrontational. He's a little schemer. Yeah, he does turn into a giant snake at the end. Yeah, oh, once you know. he gets genie powers. <laughs> I'm sure if Littlefinger had genie powers, he would have transformed his little snake. <laughs> no, he's only called Littlefinger because he's from this like island called the Fingers. Or whatever. And he was like, from the smallest one. Also assume he does probably have a tiny dick. I don't really know. Well, it wasn't enough for Catelyn. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It wasn't, wasn't enough for anyone. And also, it's like, it's completely his fault. It Come on, Sansa, anymore. just touch it. <laughs> Sansa, <laughs> you got to follow. Just touch it, please. You got to know what I'm doing is best for you. So just touch it. Touch it. I'm turning a bit Irish, though. Is... I mean, that's what he does, though. Have you ever seen that? Like, Aidan Gillen's accent turns, like, more Irish throughout the entire show. Is the actor Irish? Yeah. Oh, okay. He okay, is. that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, he is Irish. But, like, in season one, it's, like, really, like, RP. You know, like, a what's he pronounced? Fucking, you know, fucking... What, you know the accent that everyone thinks that British actors have? Like, oh, hello. It's mm-hmm. that in season one. But then it gradually turns more Irish and so like... Call me Peter. <laughs> like, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I can forgive that because in the entire run span of Doctor Who, David Tennant's accent didn't slip fucking once. Yeah, and exactly. the only reason he did it in the Victoria episode is because they were in Scotland and they were then trying to blend in. Yeah, is that, and that, that's actually really funny because yeah. he's just talking normally. That was good. And then that's when the cat really with Rose tried to do it, he's like, don't do that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's like, you could argue maybe that it's like, oh, well. You know, maybe he was around people with those accents. It's like, yeah, you could. But the thing is, he wasn't. And also, uh, like, it, it didn't make any sense for his, like, it, it wasn't, like, it didn't make any sense for his character. He wasn't going to blend in. He just had that accent. It's like, bro. But he does, like, it, in other, he does it in other words as well. Because I've seen Maze Runner and that. And he's like the bad guy in the Scorch tribe. Like, you won't last a day in the Scorch. Yeah, he's in Peaky Blinders. Oh, yeah, as the fucking Caliban. Uh, no, shut up a sec. Uh, yeah. Matalan, fucking the Abra- 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 Abraham, the, 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 Alabama, uh, uh, Amarama, Ab- Amarama Gold. That's yeah. the same. Alabama. <laughs> oh fuck's sake, Abarama. I have the keys to the truck. Uh, I just like okay. Yeah. I'm going to bang Polly. It's like, but at least, at least in that, his accent is consistent. God, like, Polly consistent. Had a, Polly really went around everyone. She fucked yeah, Helen McCrory. Fucked God in, rest your soul. Fucked Inspector Morse. Then she banged <laughs> Inspector Morse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Inspector Morse. <laughs> Master Shelby, That's you good. are scum. That's quite good. <laughs> Neil, man. For me, it was a lot. It was for me. It was just him coming up. By the way, Mister Shelby, I'm an absolute cunt. No, See you that. next episode. He just show up with his gay little cane. Ha ta ha ta. Goodbye. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> shot. By, by, I forgot shot in the leg. I was pussy by a woman. Yeah, well, by grace of all people. With a, with a fucking oh. what was it? It was like a purse pea shooter. The most. Crap I, don't know, I think ever. I think she just shot it through her. She shot it through her bag, which is like kind of a smart thing to do. But the thing is, I, for any of you who've seen Peaky Blinders, all right, I'm gonna say this right now. Lizzie is way more of a unit than Grace ever was. All right, <laughs> like, say it right now. Tommy's sister. No, Lizzie. Ada is Tommy's sister. Lizzie's oh, Lizzie Tommy's, is uh, fucking. Uh... She was the prostitute that then became Tommy's wife. Mm-hmm. Way more of a unit than Grace was. Tommy's wife. Yeah. You know, Lizzie. Tall. Natasha O'Keefe. He married the... 
Did he marry Lizzie? Yeah, he marries Lizzie. Blake is his wife. The they blonde have, one got they shot. They have a child together. That's, no, he Yeah, Grace child. got shot. Yeah. Right. The blonde one. Yeah. Um, Annabelle Wallace got shot. And then after... Was that who he married? The whore? Yeah, after. Oh, right. But she's way... She's such a better character. Just way better written. I always hated his sister. What, Ada? Yeah. Uh, Freddy. Oh, mate. Oh, uh. mate. oh, that's season one. No, but even when she's living in the house and she's always like, uh, tell me, it's like the classic oh. sort of gangster. Oh, mate, you got to watch season six. Ada has got big dick energy. All right, fine. Fair enough. Big dick energy. From where I am now, she was always annoying the fuck out of me. Uh, Freddy. <laughs> Yeah, in season one, and then they did. They oh, didn't she even... wouldn't shut up about him in season two they after he died they... of the flu. Yeah, which you didn't even see either. It was like it was like he died off screen. And after like... he had that big dick moment where he barrels out with the fucking what was the gun? The he had? Lewis gun. <laughs> the fucking Lewis yeah, gun. The, the, in the, his the, own the, arms, Lewis those gun. things were heavy. <laughs> yeah, so, and and also like I don't know if they were fine blanks in that gun or not, but the fact that it didn't jam once was. Pretty impressive. Is that a belt fed gun? No, it's got a weird sort of, you know, that big sort of round thing on the top. Like that's the magazine. Oh yeah, I know. That like feeds in, and uh, I mean the way that I, I, that was really cool. That was really cool, and I, I, I loved to see the Lewis gun because like, oh, that's it's just such a cool gun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. No, I, I get what you mean though. Like Ada was kind of annoying uh, in the first season. And a bit in the second, but my partner six. always loved Polly. He's absolute badass. Oh. oh, Paul, yes, Helen McCrory. Oh, absolutely amazing actress. Married to Damien Lewis, who plays Dick Winters in uh, Band of Brothers, which again, best TV show. I always liked World Michael. No oh, way, Michael. Yeah, you know yeah. Polly's son. <laughs> oh, mate. When he, had, when he, uh, I've only seen the first few episodes of like uh, season five. But obviously, he became like a bit of, like a uh, American New Yorky sort of like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, you guys already seen six. All right, we'll stop talking about that. Then. Yeah, right then, talking. next question: Would next you thing. rather? I'll tell one, and you tell the final one. Okay. Would you rather receive a blowjob from a lady of the night who, instead of teeth, has shards of glass, or? Make out profusely for 20 minutes with Justin Bieber. Tongue and everything. Um, make out profusely with Justin Bieber. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be a lot harder. No. Oh, wait. It depends. Because here's the thing. Let's break it down. Is it no longer cool <laughs> to say Justin Bieber? I should have chose someone else. I should have said <laughs> Seth Rogen. Anyway, go on. I mean, so like, let's break it down. You know... You don't want to have glass in your dick because that sounds really, really painful. Right? <laughs> Put that on a shirt. But the thing is, like, you make out with Justin Bieber. No one knows who I am, but everyone knows who Justin Bieber is. And they're like, oh my God, Justin Bieber made out with this guy. And then that way I can milk him to fuck to get a load of money. All right. I also might tickle his butthole. I might make him do some gay shit. I'm not even gay, but like I will put him in like compromising positions, take photos. He's a skinny little fuck. I reckon you could definitely yeah, I could, wrestle him. To yeah, do exactly. that. I could. I I could fucking top. Looks like it weighs about five stone. Yeah, I could top the fuck out of Justin Bieber. Uh, any Yanks listening? That's yeah. like thirty kilograms. Oh fuck! What's the they use the imperial system? I don't know what that is. I mean, hundred pounds. Even weird. Like we use like two. What is he? Like, maybe like ten stone. Mm. I don't even know. Hey, Mark! I have several inches of diet coke. Yeah. There are but so many Fahrenheit's in here. Here's the thing: Justin Bieber is Canadian. Yes, he is. I remember that so, petition that tried to deport him. Yeah. <laughs> He's Canadian, right? I could, I, could, I could dominate the shit out of him. And, and I he'd apologise while you do it. Yeah, exactly. It, he would be... He, like, while I'm, like, fucking raw-dogging him up the arse, he'd be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's like, you're fucking up! I love how this profuse making out has turned into violent rage. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying. That's what I love about you, man. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the, this is the thing. I mean, I said it before. I said it earlier in this episode. It's like, you know... Sometimes you just sometimes you just got to take control, right? You just got to just you know go into a place that you're not supposed to be in, 
through violence. And, and, and uh, you know, here's the thing. It's like getting your dick sucked by a prostitute with glass for teeth. Yeah, that's one thing. No one knows who she is. But if you're the guy that, you know, fucking raw dogs Justin Bieber up the ass. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, the life is set. Maybe, maybe because it's up, you know. Do you think that idea could be another like addition to the teeth fran- horror movie franchise? Instead of a woman with teeth in a vagina, a woman she, like she looks beautiful. She goes down to give you a blowjob, opens her mouth, and you see the shards of glass. Yeah, and the guy yeah. at first is like, "Yeah." I don't... Do you know what? That's actually a really good metaphor. It's like just because you're pretty on the outside doesn't mean you're not ugly on the inside. Fuck, we're good. Yeah, oh my god, we're, this, this is getting deep shit. Then again, we might be slightly ripping off the legend of the slipmouth woman. Uh, Have you ever heard that Japanese legend? Yeah, 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 maybe. But the thing is, like, we're West, we're, we're from the West, and we, yeah! we kind of do that all the time anyway. So. <laughs> and we're English! We steal shit from other cultures all the time! Oh, name... 400... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, set the bar that's what I've always found. You can never people talk about like a cultural appropriation with like black culture and Native American and stuff like that. And, like, how would you like it done to you? It's like, why do people have no culture? Because we're a culture of cultures. Yeah, it's like, it's Everything like... we have and use, we stole and made it our own. Yeah, it's like, it's we're not... Jack Skellington. We saw Christmas. We oh, took Christmas. Didn't, didn't like. I think I said that video. <laughs> To our group chat, didn't I, about, uh, uh, about, like, the guess who sort of game. There's the English guy. like, do I drink tea? Do I play cricket? Do oh, I eat lots yeah. of curry? It's like, oh, I'm me. And there's India. is just like, what? <laughs> like, you st- <laughs> oh, yeah, tea. Well, tea's originally from China, isn't it? Jane. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for anyone. I, I, I just can't, like, whenever someone says China, I just can't help doing the fucking Donald Trump. It's good. Maybe that's a question you just... Do you believe yeah, the rumours yeah. that he's apparently going to be running again? Thing is, I kind of hope he is, just because it'd be so absurd. Isn't it? Isn't there a thing in America you can't be voted president twice though? No, you can. Oh, I always thought you can't be voted America more than uh, a president more. You than can't. Once. You can't have more than um, uh, eight terms, like in off uh, eight years. Sorry. Oh, so <laughs> two eight, terms. Yeah, two terms in office. Yeah, yeah. it's four years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even no, Obama have, yeah, sorry. Uh, more than two, uh, two terms. In I think that's a good rule. How long, how many years have we had the fucking Tories? It uh, feels like it's been longer than eight. It feels like it. I think that's probably. We've been through like f- what four prime ministers? The Tories: David Cameron, Theresa May. But, okay, three prime ministers, but still. Tory. Sorry. Okay, Again, no. I can't. I can't ever hear the word Boris without going. Oh, Tory. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Again, I know no one listening gives a fuck about the name of our politicians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because most of them probably don't know it. And that's kind of a good thing. If he runs again, I don't know who he'd run against because Biden won't, clearly won't survive the winter. But... <laughs> yeah, he's old as fuck. Biden, Russia's not your enemy. Winter's your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> and the Russian winter has been the enemy for a couple of empires. Ask so, the Germans. Uh, and the French. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what is it? Napoleon got his yeah. ass fucked. Yeah. Do you know that's where baguettes came from? What, Napoleon getting fucked? Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah, no, literally, they got like a big loaf of bread and shoved up his ass. No, no, that's what you mean. So, like, basically, uh, baguettes, what they had, um, the French soldiers, when they were marching, they were like, well, we need to eat while we march, and we can't stop. So they made bread in the shape of baguettes so they could, like, put sort of down their leg to keep it warm. And then they just like peel off little bits of bread and eat it as they marched. That's where baguettes come from. I think I believe you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gross enough to be French, right? I mean, <laughs> really? Down their trouser leg? Yeah, exactly. So it sort of keeps it warm by their trouser leg whilst they While march. they're marching? Yeah, exactly. So they can I didn't just... just crumble down their legs. Well, I mean, it was sort of like, I don't know, down there. I guess there must have been a lot of room in those trousers to hold it. Mm. Oui. <laughs> Uh, but like, and then they would like have it, like sort of beside, like on their side, so they could march and just peel off bits of bread and eat it whilst they were marching, so they didn't have to like stop uh, and stuff like that. Um, again, that's like another thing, like World War Two. Everyone says like, why did you invade Russia in winter? It's like Hitler did not invade Russia in winter, oh, but yeah. Russia is really, really big. 
just so by the time he got it. anywhere important it was kind of cold it? it's funny you say that given the old saying is never have a land war with Asia yeah with China or whatever yeah like cause, Shane like, sorry because like again when Japan and all that tried to well Japan tried to take Indo- over China Indo- but they never did too well with Korea and Korea stands between China and Japan but <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, it's, I think it's, it, it, it's always kind of interesting looking at, like, Russia on a map, being like, oh, yeah, that's really big. But then when you actually put it into a space, it's like, yeah, no, Russia is actually really fucking big. You know, if they hadn't spent so much time culling their own people, they might have actually been a more long-lasting superpower. That's yeah. the only thing I can think of of why they were always a collapsing star. Like, even in the arms race and all that, it's just like, yeah, because America spends, has their citizens working and paying taxes, not dying in prison. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why they have more money mm-hmm. for bombs. Because they have like, more money. Yeah, and, and stuff like... Corpses don't pay taxes. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like... It's, 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 Russia's just like a different... You know, it's like different sort of culture, I think. And like, like their people are just, you know, they're just built different. They live different from like us. And I think it's at some point like sort of difficult for Westerners like us to uh, kind of wrap our heads around how like... Well, you might be surprised to know that yeah. France themselves are actually on their fifth republic. <laughs> oh, yeah, they love to revolt. Yeah, that France has had so many governments torn down. They the are literally guillotine. on their fifth republic, historically yeah. wise. France loves to write, you know, like the, those riots about the fuel prices with all the, um, uh, you know, fluorescent uh, vests. No. Because it, it's a law in France that in your car you have to have a fluorescent vest. What, and, at night or? Well, you just have to have one in your car. Oh. Like, a, you know, a, you know, fluorescent, you know, yellow. Yeah, I know vest. what you mean. Yeah. And then there was a massive uproar in like 2000. 17, 16 maybe. Yeah, that sounds stupid as fuck. About, like, petrol prices. And, like, France just basically processed it and their kind of flag was their fluorescent vests that they had all in their cars. <laughs> I was like, mate, that is, that's pretty fucking... That's, that's pretty cool and also kind of funny. <laughs> I like France. I like France. Yeah, all right. Me and my partner will probably go there at some point, take a shit in the Eiffel Tower or something. Oh. I imagine they have bathrooms there. I could oh. imagine it be because it's a tourist destination. Every English person should go to the Eiffel Tower at one time in their life and take a shit in it. In France or Vegas? Oh right, I forget <laughs> Vegas has one as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't want ever. I, I don't see. If I went to Vegas, I would approach Vegas like a forty-year-old woman for the buffets oh, and the shows. But, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't gamble. No. I wouldn't do anything that Vegas is renowned for. I would just go for like, like low-key shops. Yeah, the gift shops, the fucking... I would go for the gift shops. I don't know. You'd be able to pick up some cool fucking gifts in yeah, fucking Vegas. Could. To be fair, I'd probably just like get like a hotel room. You'll be able to find like a bullet dildo that has, that's also a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> that sounds like a Texas thing. But it's still or America. Vegas. Where is Megas? It's, uh... It's Nevada, isn't it? Nevada. Is that... Basically a desert. Is that red state? Oh, well, actually, no, I don't... Oh, I don't really like the heat. Oh, actually, I probably wouldn't Ginger. go to Texas then. I wouldn't like the heat either. I don't know. Bring a, bring a, bring a big hat. I do have a sombrero. I mean, you and me could uh, drive there and we could reenact Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we'd drive there and then the first thing that would happen, we'd both say, we can't stop it. This is backcountry, and then we drive somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's definitely what would happen. I was just driving along the road with Rob when the drugs took in. <laughs> the drugs took in. <laughs> well, we're swatting away bats and. <laughs> Jesus, God! And then Toby Maguire like, is on the side of the road, we pick him up. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, I did a fear of lonely Las Vegas. <laughs> We get to the hotel room, and you're, you're a fucking secret agent, aren't you? You're a fucking government spy who just set me up. <laughs> oh, man, you're tripping, man. <laughs> yeah, so did you win all this, it? All right. I think it's... Oh, we're fucking out. We've come across the end of the time that we make the stopping of the stop. Yep, and um, I've just ejaculated. Go well then. So. This has been uh, one of our fun little... If you have any fun questions you'd like to give to me and Rob that we can answer in another miscellaneous episode, put those down in the comments. 
and we will answer them. Yes, any we question. Will. Any question. Absolutely any question. The more sexual, the better. Yeah, exactly. And we've uh, I've answered a question about murdering babies, so it will be it will be answered. All right, we're not weak like other people. No, we are not. No, no, we're the Ubermensch. <laughs> all right then. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls and everyone in between, until next time, you have been listening to Laughing on a Prayer.